This video will show you how to perform a peak flow test. Identify the patient, introduce yourself, and explain the rationale for the procedure. Wash your hands and apply gloves. Show the patient the peak flow meter and explain to them how it works. Show the patient where the instruction manual is located inside the packaging. Put the peak flow meter together and show the patient how it's done. Set the indicator to the bottom or the lowest number of the scale. Assist your patient up off of the chair and instruct the patient that they will need to take a deep breath in, place the meter on their mouth, close their lips around the mouthpiece, and blow as hard as he or she can. You will want to review the results where the indicator is at. Explain to the patient how to establish his or her personal best. Explain the three zone system and how to record results in his or her peak flow diary. At this visit, the patient should repeat the peak flow two more times. Instruct the patient to do a peak flow two to three times a day. The colored zones on the peak flow meter are modeled after the traffic light. Green means good control, 80 to 100% of personal best reading. Yellow means caution, 50% to 80% of personal best reading. And red means danger, less than 50% of personal best reading. Explain these zones to your patient. Remove gloves and wash hands. Have the patient pack up the peak flow meter and ensure that they receive the directions for the meter. Assist your patient outside to the room and document. 